Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable Secure Boot and TPM 2.0 in your Windows 11 computer. Now, before you make, this is done through BIOS. Now, before you make any changes in the BIOS, let me inform you. If you are not used to making changes in BIOS, contact PC manufacturer customer support because incorrect changes made in system BIOS can result in PC startup issue. Now, you can also go to Microsoft website and you can go through this article and here you can see how to enable secure boot and there are uh, Dell, Lenovo, HP, all the steps are provided over here. So you can go through this. Now also if you are using PIN to login to your computer then make sure that you have the Windows login password so that because the PIN may not work after you make changes in the BIOS then you must have a password, the Windows login password. Now you have to go to system BIOS you can go to system BIOS using Windows Advanced Startup Settings or you can restart your computer and immediate, immediately you can press the BIOS key. It may be F2, F11, F10. The BIOS key may be different for different brand. So you have to start your computer and then immediately tap the BIOS key to go to the system BIOS. Or if you are able to log in, in that case you can open Windows Settings and I'll show you. Now before you make changes, you can type in MS Info 32 or you can type in system information in Windows search box, click on system information, check if secure boot is on or off. So here in my case, secure boot state is off and you can also type in tpm.msc in Windows search box and then click on tpm.msc and over here you can see compatible tpm cannot be found. That means it's not enabled. So to enable it, uh, you can go to Windows settings and then go to Windows Update, go to Advanced Option, scroll down, go to Recovery Option, and over here you can see Advanced Startup, and then click on Restart Now. Now when the system restarts, you will see this on the screen. So you have to go to Troubleshoot Option, click on Troubleshoot, and then go to Advanced Option over here, and then go to UEFI Firmware Settings over here, and then you will see Restart Option, so hit Restart. Now when the system restarts, it will take you to the BIOS screen. Now over here, go to boot configuration. In my case, it's boot configuration. So find boot option. And once you go to boot option over here, you can make sure boot mode is set to UEFI. In my case, it is already set to UEFI. And then you can scroll down. And over here, you can see secure boot. In my case, here you can see the secure boot is disabled. So if this is off, you can turn it on. And then once you turn it on, hit apply changes at the bottom and you will see this prompt. Click on OK to apply changes. And then go to security option. In my case, the TPM 2.0 can be found in security tab. So when you go to security, so it's Intel. So it is known as this Intel platform trust technology that is PTT. So here in my case it is off so you can turn this on and once this is on now at the bottom again you have to hit apply changes over here and then you have to click on OK to confirm the changes and then at the bottom you will see exit option so you can hit exit over here and this will restart your computer. Now the computer will restart. Now you can log in and over here you can see sign in option. The pin option is gone. So I will click on sign in option and then you have to click on this key icon, the password icon over here and you have to enter the password for your computer. Now after the system restart, you can type in system information in Windows search box and then click on system information. And over here, you can see secure boot state is on right now. And you can also type in tpm.msc and then click on tpm.msc. MSC, and over here you will see right now, here you can see the TPM is ready to use. So this is how you can enable secure boot and TPM 2.0 in Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.